Thank All right, you. now uh, to Hurricane Michael, which is now a tropical storm. This video is from the small coastal town of Mexico Beach, which, as you can mm. see, has been left in ruins. So joining us now on the phone, Catherine Stemfine, uh, Duke Energy president. Uh, and Catherine, uh, just want to get an assessment. How many people are uh, without power right now and down there? Thanks, Charles. Um, we are seeing on our system about a uh, little over 30,000 of our households are out of power. And some of those households are just completely devastated, as you've been noting, especially in the uh, Mexico Beach area, Apalachicola, Port St. Joe. Um, these are areas that uh, we're going to have to be completely rebuilding our system, transmission and distribution. Is that something you do now, or do you just focus on, on just the emergency, making sure people have basic power? So right now we are in damage assessment mode. Um, we've been sending up some helicopters and drones in order to try to see the state of our system because many of these areas we can't access right now. We're working closely with the DOT in the state um, to try to access some of these areas. But uh, right now the state's focused on providing emergency care um, and the National Guard is out to uh, any leftover search and rescue for these communities. Um, and then we'll be moving in as soon as we can. Um, to try to get power back onto critical facilities um, and then continue assessing and uh, rebuilding the systems for these customers. Of course, Catherine, uh, we, you know, the, these, these storms have happened so frequently that uh, for the most part, we keep hearing better and better, you know, stories or, or more uplifting stories about the response, uh, particularly first responders and even uh, power companies like your own. What do you see that may have to change or what do you, what, what's your vision longer-term vision for, for maybe even finding a way to make sure people can even keep power after going through one of these? Well, we are actually have a, a long-term plan in place in uh, the state of Florida. We're going to be looking to spend about $1.4 billion over the next five years, really looking for resiliency in our grid. And that takes a number of different uh, components to it. Some of that is replacing wood poles with steel, stronger poles, so that they can better withstand some of these hurricane force winds. We're also looking to be doing targeted, targeted undergrounding of lines, again, so try to avoid some of those trees coming down and knocking down the power lines. And we're also implementing a smart grid system. It's a self-healing system where if a circuit is out, the power can be redirected um, and uh, customers can hopefully keep their power on um, more frequently. Well, thank you very much. I know you're very busy and we do appreciate you taking the time this morning. Thank you very much, Charles.